Welcome back to another quick Cinema 4D tutorial. I uh, just want to show you really quickly how you can use the hair, um, how you can simulate hair particles or hair objects to create things, uh, other instances for things like, for instance, if you wanted to create like a forest or something. So I've got this tree here I created. It's just extremely basic. It's probably one of the first models you learned how to create three pyramids of different sizes stacked on top of one another with a cylinder for a trunk and two materials which are just noise textures that uh, make a you know a decent looking sort of low poly look here um, and yeah the only other thing to do is to take the low poly, take the font tag off of the trunk there, but so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new workspace here, and I'm just gonna draw a plane, which I'm gonna size up quite a bit because I want to kind of simulate some terrain here. Now you could use the landscape object, but it's a little bit too rug <coughs> rugged of a terrain for this uh, application. So, I'm just going to add a few more width segments here so that I can do more with my uh, plane here for kind of create like a rolling hills type of a feel. So, I'm going to make this editable. And I'm going to look at my all of the polygons I just made and I've got plenty to work with now. So, what I'm going to do is going to go into my live selection and I'm going to change my mode to soft selection. And then I'm going to increase my radius by quite a bit on both the standard options as well as the soft selection options. And now I can just start selecting places and just kind of gradually adjusting my terrain here. You don't really need to go, you know, drag it. You should always just drag it up unless you really want to create a lake, a lake, but if you do that, you're naturally going to be creating little valleys also, so you don't need to worry about doing some of these up and some down, just kind of just go around and just haphazardly lift up where you like it. And there we go, we've got some, some rolling hills, and let me put a light in there so you can kind of see. Yeah, that's some pretty basic looking terrain. Now, let's say that I had just taken a spline and kind of projected a road through here. So rather than going in and selecting all of these little, you know, selecting where I want to plant a tree or bringing in my tree object and plant them there, I can just much more easily um, go back into normal mode here. And I can just select everywhere I want to potentially have tree objects, like a forest. So I'm going to do it. I'm just going to say there's a roadway going through there. Let's just pretend. And everything else is going to be forest on either side. So once you've done that, all you have to do is go to Simulate, Hair Objects, Add Hair. And what you'll notice right away is you've got a lot of these hair follicles. They're not going to do anything yet. You can render it and, well, you will see, I guess, a little bit of hair, but this is not what we're going for, obviously. Um, and so then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my tree that I just made. And there it is. And now what I can do under hair is leave under generate I can now do a type of hair which is an instance and the instance can now be an object boom so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna go keep textures and you're not gonna notice anything yet because these hair particles are they're the, sh the size is way too way off now uncheck render hairs and 
then under hairs, I'm going to mess with my count a little bit. There, put it down to like 2,000. And then I'm going to go into my material, and this is where we start to make our hair appear. So we're going to go to thickness, and we're really going to size this root up along with the tip a little bit and we're going to play with the variation a little bit. And we're still not getting anything here. Okay, so one thing to keep in mind is you must make sure that you have made your tree object editable um, and made sure that you went through each of your attributes um, if you had cylinders or pyramids and also made those editable and then selected them all and connected the objects and deleted it so that you have one object and now you can go into your hair and go back into instance oops and in here that's where you can drag in your tree object and now you'll notice I've got my forest showing up here so now we can do away with this tree no longer seeing it and then we can start to play with the number of guides we have and the length and all that good stuff. So I'm just going to go down to something manageable for now like 250 um, which actually what I need to be doing is that I need to be doing that for hairs sorry so 250 for the hairs. Now you'll notice it's kind of spread out I'll put the guides back up to a fair size and now we're starting to look at an actual forest here um, so the only other thing we can do is go back into our hair material and start to play with um, th things under the thickness um, element here. So this is our base root thickness and then our tip thickness and we can kind of reduce the variation a little bit but enough variation to have like a you know unique looking forest. <laughs> Um, and I'll, maybe I'll just do one last adjustment here. Take the length down. Yeah, and then we'll go back into the hairs here. Mess with that root thickness. <coughs> there we go. So now we've got what we want. And the only other thing to kind of take a look at and see a realistic representation of what we've created here. We put a light in here with a shadow, soft shadow. Boom, we've got ourselves a pretty natural looking low poly forest. Um, if you wanna make some like micro adjustments, you can always go into your hair um, and there's a way to also make this editable. And now every single tree is its own individual attribute here to this layer. So I can see trees here that are connected to other trees and I can just individually select those trees and blow them away. Um, you know, there's a, there's a clump here. Obviously, you know, the density is not a huge issue to me. Um, as a lot of times this is just gonna be a background element, but if I kinda work my way through here, another one there's another one boom I've got a little bit more space there so that's the only other adjustment you can maybe make to your low poly tree forest here but um, yeah in the spirit of keeping these short um, I'm going to stop there um, thanks for watching uh, this quick tutorial on how to make a uh, forest using hair uh, simulating hair objects um, thanks for watching